It's 10 years to the day since the so-called Uruwera terror raids in Ruatoki and the residents who were caught up in them are still feeling the effects. The police suspected a terrorist group was training in the Bay of Plenty, but it turned out the only terror experienced was by the locals. Araiha Paki from the Hui returned to Ruatoki to mark the anniversary. Ruatoki, a quiet Tuhoi settlement in Te Urewera, about 20 kilometres from Fakatane. It lies mostly in a peaceful slumber, but 10 years ago, the people of Ruatoki woke to the terror of police raiding their homes under allegations of terrorism. When you got guns and you got the red lights on your heart and on your head, then you know there's something wrong. You know, if you do something wrong, then you're going to be shot. When you come home, it's meant to be a home. You're meant to feel secure and safe. And then the police come in and do that to us, kids. Vulnerable little kids. The police allegation of terrorism, the forceful searching of private properties and the detention of innocent men, women and children. Just another chapter in a chequered history since the land confiscations and scorched earth policy. There was immediate dislike and uh, that turned into indifference and hatred uh, for many, many years. 18 people were arrested on the day of the raids as police declared they'd busted a terror cell. Operation 8 made headlines all around the world. Fetumara Mapurewa was only six when armed police stormed her home. So now it's been 10 years, how do you feel about all of it? I still feel hurt. I think all of us still feel hurt. Three years ago, police apologised for their actions, saying the way they treated the innocent people and invaded private properties was unlawful. Through it all, Tuhoi have settled their claim and moved forward. The settlement, uh, in our view, was, was a day when the Crown surrendered to us and then uh, agreed that we should work on a better relationship. But for Fetumara Mapurewa, the 15th of October is a day she will never forget. Is it fair to say you don't trust police? I don't, I'll never trust them again, never. The man at the centre of the raids, Tame Etsi, was only ever charged for possession of weapons. It's understood he's looking to have his name pardoned. Raihapaki, News Hub.